Korea is hoping to ease its dependence, that is, on wasabi imports by making use of technology to allow for quality production here at local farms. Our Cho Sung-min shows us how. A village next to the demilitarized zone in Cheolwon is home to South Korea's most advanced wasabi farm. Located within the state-designated civilian control line, where entry from ordinary citizens is strictly forbidden, the facility has special homegrown lighting technology co-developed with a local plasma research center. The technology is used to boost the growth and production of wasabi. Named the quantum dot lighting, the artificial purple light is meticulously designed to provide the most optimal environment for wasabi to grow. Not only has it shortened the yield span of the wasabi roots from 20 to 15 months, it also doubled their thickness when fully grown. The number of wasabi plants that die out because of pests has halved as well. The rate of roots dying because of pests has dropped below 3 percent. The wasabi plants are bigger, tastier and are showing higher yields too. It's safe to say we killed four birds with a stone. The light is also extremely cost efficient as it only needs to be turned on for no more than three hours at a time twice a day. Developers say they are figuring out ways to use the light to boost production of other fruits and vegetables. We plan on applying this technology to tomatoes, bell peppers and strawberries to help boost the revenues of local farms. Industry experts believe that the new lighting technology will play a pivotal role in South Korea's wasabi production and quality while reducing its dependence on imports. Cho Sung-min, Arirang News.